Running is an old sport with the first documented race coming about a thousand years ago. But over the last decade, uh, there's been a technological revolution in running, one powered by shoes that can give runners who can pay up a leg up. Want to run faster? These guys do, and so do elite athletes, shattering records with the help of ultralight carbon plate running shoes. The one that started it all is the Nike Alpha Fly. So, utilizing a few different technologies, carbon fiber plate that's wedged inside of it. Kevin Lockenmeyer owns the Fleet Feet store in Carmel Valley. These are, you know, little cheat codes in terms of adding extra efficiency. And runners like to have an edge. The shoes use bouncy, ultralight materials, sandwiching a carbon plate that's angled forward that feel like they're launching you with every step. I'm a hobby runner, so I like to do it just to stay in shape. Michael Liu runs with the San Diego Track Club. I think I improved my, my first half time, I think I improved by about five minutes. Wow. Part of that I think is, is due to the course, but I mean the shoe was just, it was just like nothing I'd ever ran before. He says the super shoes aren't only faster, they help him with recovery. I feel a lot better the next day wearing these kind of shoes with the carbon plate and the foam than I do with just a normal shoe. But is using these shoes actually cheating? Coach Paul Greer doesn't think so. Runners are definitely going to get an advantage of that, but we have to move with the times. Okay, everybody gather up. We're ready to get started, ladies and gentlemen. Greer is a running guru. He's the coach here at San Diego Track Club and for the USA Men's Under 20 National Cross Country Team and just released a book on running. He says the sports watchdogs are on top of the situation. Well, World Athletics, which is the governing body of the sport of track and field and cross country and distance running, has actually standards. Carbon plate running shoes aren't only for elite athletes. If you're looking to break a personal record in a 5K or a half marathon, those shoes will help you, but they'll cost you a pretty penny. 275 up to $300. Uh, there's some models that are even beyond that. That's how much the top end shoes cost. It's a price though many are willing to pay. For your hobbyist runners, if they want that little bit of extra, uh, bit of a cheat code to be able to kind of feel fastest and most confident on their race days, you know, if it's worth spending, you know, a couple hundred bucks on something that's a little bit more race specific, all for it. I think it just makes you feel faster and the confidence boost that some people get from them is just night and day and they look really cool. I've never heard anyone be like, those shoes are not worth it. But the dollars are what Coach Greer wants to make sense for younger runners. He doesn't like the fact that competitive athletes who can pay a higher price for a lower time could be beating runners who can't afford the high-end shoes. It's not a lemon plate field. So in that case, that's where I have the issues with. That's the problem. And that is a big deal because that pays the future of that athlete based on the shoes. And it's only simply because they can't afford the shoes because they're now at a level where it's too expensive. Okay, I bought myself a pair of Hoka Carbon X3s. They're Hoka's last generation mm -hmm. carbon plate shoe. They were on clearance, okay? <laughs> I, I, I got a deal. Uh, they feel good mm -hmm. running in them, but I'm, I, I couldn't tell you right now if they're really improving my time, but I did enjoy running on them. Who knows, I might have the chance to, to test myself the uh, Carlsbad 5000. It's billed as the world's fastest 5K is this weekend in Carlsbad. Might be able to try out there, see, see what happens, but they are fun. I did enjoy running in them, and, and I can see where runners would get an advantage now I've never been a runner I'm more of a you know crossfitter lifter right. type of person you've been a runner for many years would shoes really make that much of a difference you know Michael Lou who I spoke to he said they did the high-end elite runners they believe in them and records are being shattered out there so it seems like the technology does work but there's also kind of that placebo effect it's sure. like I think they work so of I'm course. gonna run faster yeah it's so funny because as a kid you know it was always hey mom new shoes I run faster now right these might actually help <laughs> me do it well there you go